Hey guys, it's Guy from Bottles for College, and today I'm gonna be talking about sorting your different cans and bottles. I love sorting these, this is what I do, but lately it's been getting overwhelming. As you can see over here, this is all that we sorted in the last week. So if you can help me out by pre-sorting your cans and bottles, that would be amazing. If you can't, no problem. So today I'm gonna be giving different tips on how to sort your cans and bottles because the recycling center has a system where you need to redeem your cans and bottles in a certain way or they may not be accepted. A basic tip, make sure there's an HI5 sign on your bottle or can. Tip number one, make sure all debris and liquid is out of your bottle because otherwise, well, it can't be recycled. Next tip, take the cap off the bottle. The recycling center does not take them, but if you give them to me separately, I'll make sure they still get recycled. Next tip, keep the label on your bottle. If the label's off, the recycling center will not redeem it because it could be made of non-recyclable material, hence making it a big problem for them. And here are some advanced tips. One is to crush your bottle by just simply stepping on it. Some will be made of thicker material, so just do your best because we don't want to waste so many plastic bags. And another advanced tip. Bottles are sorted by different sizes. One is 16.9 fluid ounces and lower, and another is 17 fluid ounces and higher. You can find the number somewhere on the bottom of the label, usually near the calorie count. These advantages are for those people who really like to recycle, but don't worry, you can keep them all in one bag and I'll sort them for you. As for cans, these do not have a size limitation. However, make sure this little tab stays on because otherwise ones like these cannot be redeemed at the recycling center. Another tip that is not necessary but would be a big help to me is crushing these cans of balls because they get pretty bulky. So my brother who loves helping out crushing these cans are go is going to show you a few ways on how to crush them. Thanks, Mike. As for glass bottles, the first thing is to make sure the cap is off and you see the HI5 label. Some kind of alcohol bottles, such as wine bottles, are usually not accepted because they don't have the HI5 sign, but surprisingly, those apple cider bottles are recyclable. And glass bottles are sorted by color. I usually get clear bottles, green bottles, and brown bottles. Now remember, sorting these cans and bottles are not necessary when you donate them to Balls for College, but it is a huge help when you do. So thank you guys so much for learning about different recycling tips with me, and make sure to check out my website to see different events, public drop-off depots, and to contact me if you have cans or bottles.